this video we are going to see about the floating point arithmetic uh, division division floating point arithmetic so how we are going to carry over the uh, floating point division so first we have to divide the mantissa and then the exponents are subtraction whereas in the multiplication you will add the exponents here you will subtract the exponents then you have to adjust the bias of the result by adding 127 okay so now we'll see uh, with a numerical example then we'll go for binary division first see here this is a four decimal digit significant so here 4.010 into 10 power minus 3 divided by minus 4.012 into 10 power 6 this is a uh, decimal uh, division with floating point values okay so here when you see this it is 10 power minus 3 and here 10 power 6 so first what we'll do is we'll subtract the exponent so according to this minus 3 minus so here minus 3 then we have to subtract the exponent so minus 6 here 6 is there and minus 3 is there minus 3 subtraction 6 now we have minus 9 that's what here we'll see then you have to divide this when you divide this you get this answer that is minus 0 0.999501 into 10 power minus 9 then what we will do is we have to make it that is here it has to be a uh, uh, number so it should not be a zero so what we do is we just move this point here so when you move the point towards right you have to decrement the uh, exponent so what we do when we move towards this we decrement that is it becomes minus 10 minus 9 becomes minus 10 then uh, here just we are doing an adjustment so minus 9.9 .9 is nearly equal to 10 okay so 10 approximation we are doing 10 into 10 power minus 9 then finally again when we shift this towards this since it has become a one here so when you move towards the left this decimal point move towards it means you have to add increment the exponent now it becomes minus nine okay so now we'll see the uh, division algorithm it mainly consists of five parts one is first check for zero what do you mean we check for zero we have to check the mantissa of this let us say this as an x and this as a y value we have to check the mantissa part this is a mantissa part this uh, mantissa part of uh, the two number whether they are equal to zero or not if any one of them are zero then you cannot proceed you have to stop so that's what we do to so check for zeros then initialize registers and evaluate the sign initialize register means uh, say you have to put this value in one register this in another register that's what mean by initialize and check for zeros here it is negative and here it is positive so we have to check we can do xr so when do xr when both the symbols are same then we'll have zero when the symbols are different then we'll have a one so depending on that we can uh, hence the result also will be the negative sign when both symbols are different then the answer the result will be a negative so then align the dividend then subtract the exponents divide the mantissas these are the main five steps now we'll take an example with the floating point division of binary numbers so first we will see the equal and decimal value now x is a 91.34375 which is nothing but in decimal when you convert it you get this in binary okay 91 is equal to this and this decimal point value is equal to this then what we do is we have to normalize what do you mean by normalize moving the decimal point towards left in such a way that the leftmost value will consist of a one okay so like this so when you move like this initially it is two power zero because there is no adjustment so far we have done so it is into two power zero you can take so starting from that if you move towards left or right you have to do uh, addition or subtraction of the exponent now we move here so when you move one point it is two power one then two three four five and six so six 
decimal places we are moving towards left which means the mantissa is moved towards right that's the meaning so now it is 2 power 6 so since we have moved 6 uh, decimal places towards left and the mantissa 6 positions towards right we have 2 power 6 now we have to adjust the exponent. So how we can adjust the exponent by adding 127 with this. So 6 plus 127 is 133 and its equivalent binary value is this. Now we can write it in a IEEE format. So what is it IEEE format? The first will be the sign bit, the next 8 bit will be the exponent and the remaining 23 bits will be the mantis of part. So now this is an exponent and we substitute here and this is the exponent uh, mantis apart which is nothing but here it is given now this one is implied so no need to write it here so start from here we write the value and the remaining spaces we fill it up with zeros extra thing we fill it up with zeros so this is how you express 91.34753735 here as in the IEEE format. Now we'll take another value y because we are going to divide x by y. So y is this 0 0.14 which is in decimal. Now you convert it into binary, you get this value. And then again, we have to do the normalization procedure because here we have zero. Uh, after the point, you should not have zero. Okay, so uh, uh, no, this, this bit, should be one that is the main thing so for that we have to adjust so how we can do if you we cannot move like this if we move keep on moving it will, it will add only zeros so now we have to find the one in this so move one bit another bit and another bit so three times this is moving since you are moving towards right you have to the exponent value will reduce initially this is into two power zero like this how we have done here into 2 power 0 only without normalization here also without normalization it is 2 power 0 now we have to normalize it so 1 2 3 3 points so it is into 2 power minus 3 and the, after the one dot has come now bias exponent so it is minus 3 plus 127 so how we have done here 6 plus 127 here we do minus 3 plus 127 now it is 124 the equivalent value is this now you represent it in i triple e format zero because this is a positive value here it is also a positive value so we substitute zero if it is zero it is positive value if you put one it is a negative value okay so here it is a positive value so substitute zero then write this exponent value then write the mantis of part. Mantis of part is you leave the one and the remaining value you have to write. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And the remaining values you have to fill it up with zero so that it becomes 23 bits. Now we'll do the division operation. X by Y. So X S is nothing but a significant bit. This is what so to be the significant bit. Okay. Y S into 2 power xe minus y that is exponent of x minus exponent of y so what is the exponent of uh, after normalization what we have we have the uh, x uh, x exponent to be 6 and y exponent to be minus 3 so here 6 minus minus 3 now you get plus 9 because minus minus it becomes plus so 6 plus 3 it becomes and it is 2 power 9 then so the output that is the result will have a uh, exponent value to be 9 now we have to find out this excess by y s is nothing but significant bit so now we substitute that value see here we get this value isn't it for x and for y we get this value so this divided by this that is what here has been returned we have written that value only here this is the dividend and this is the divisor so divisor we have kept it here dividend so when you do so first you check for one value now see how many bits are there one two three four five six six bits are there so that much bit you have to take it here also you know and you have to check whether the dividend is greater than if it is greater than only you can divide so in order to make it greater you can take the next value also and make it bigger value so first we have six bits so here we take one two three four five six six bits and we substitute here now if you check this value itself we can say that this is a bigger number okay than this number so now it is one tap and then subtract one one zero zero and then one one zero one here all these are zeros so leave it now you consider see here up to this only four bits are there whereas we need six bits so you take 
one more value okay when you take one value then you put a dot here right because after six uh, we take one value so put a dot here and then uh, you take another value because it is only five values so we take a zero so when you take two values so, so we substitute a zero that since we have brought one and zero then uh, when we check this one two three four five six this is a smaller number than this number so you have to make it a bigger so bring another one so now put another zero then you uh, substitute this that is uh, subtracts value now when you get one one zero 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 and here one zero so it's two so two minus one it is one okay so this is what you get now one two three four five six six values up to six values we have now this is small this is bigger and this is smaller so bring another value now it becomes seven digit so definitely it will go so now we substitute this and substitute one for that okay then you when you subtract you get this value then again you check for that this is uh, a bigger number so substitute one there and then you get this subtraction you get this value then you have only five digits so make it six digits so bring down the another one also now 100 101 or both are equal then substitute one type so here you put one and zero so like this you have to do the division okay now you get this value this is your question and this is our reminder so this question portion will occupy this question so this one you leave out it is implied the remaining value you fill it up now this exponent you have to normalize again so 9 plus 127 you have 136 the equivalent of 136 in binary is this and substitute that and this is a positive number so it is zero now we'll see the division algorithm so we substitute the values of uh, dividend and a divisor in two registers one is br and another one is accumulator dividend in accumulator divisor in br now we check the br value whether it is equal to zero if it is uh, divided by zero and end else we check for accumulator value which is which is having dividend now now you check whether it is zero if it is zero then output is also zero so n else here both are having some value now we have to proceed now check for the sign bit as one one and then put it in qs you check for the sign bit then q is equal to zero this is a register where you clear the register and you count the number of uh, bits in the dividend okay say if it is six six minus one five so the count will be kept so that uh, till the count is over you have to do the division now what we do is we find the subtraction we take the value and subtract a plus b bar plus one because we are doing the uh, this by the subtraction only so we have to find the two's complement that is what here we are doing two's complement of the divisor and then you add it with a which is nothing but our dividend whatever value we have taken and then you keep on doing if it is equal to one which means a is greater than b the value of uh, value in a is greater than the divisor so you can just do a plus b then shift right and add the exponent with one or else you just add a plus b and then you do the this small a and b are all exponent values exponent of a and b so here we add the value because we are shifting uh the a value towards right and decimal point we are moving towards uh left so we are doing a plus one here we just adjust that because we are we are adding the exponent of a and exponent of we are subtracting exponent of a uh, and sub, sub exponent of b so b is subtracted from a so we have to find the two's complement and put it in a then we add with bias the result that's what here we have done Okay, so here we have subtracted. That step is what here. Then we add it with the bias, that is with 127. Then we replace that value for the Q registers. Then finally, we end the algorithm. So whatever the algorithm is done, that's what I have explained it here. These are all some of the references I have given. You can go to all these websites from where I have taken the materials for this uh, PowerPoint.